What's going on guys? It's another beautiful day here in San Antonio, Texas. 100 plus degrees, you already know the drill. So yeah, as you can tell, I already did some stuff to the truck. I knew it was gonna actually take a little bit longer, but you know how car people are, we start tinkering with things right away. So um, ended up getting rid of that old tonneau cover, put on these factory bed caps and this tailgate cap protector, whatever you wanna call it. Looking at a silver Desert Runner rear bumper to replace this chrome unit. And um, did a few other things, obviously. You notice the wheels, right? So the reason why I went with these wheels is because I'm actually painting my Nissan hard body the same color silver as this truck. So I wanted, when I'm towing my hard body with this truck, them to kind of match. I thought that would be kind of cool. And I'm also building a, um, a Santa Cruz Jackal dirt jumper, and it's silver. So it kind of be neat if everything matched. I'm weird like that, so. But uh, yeah, here's the wheels. They are just like the ones on my hard body, except obviously a little Baja setup here. We got the Maxxis 771 Bravo ATs. They're 265-75 R16, and they're awesome. They balanced out great. They feel good. They're not really loud on the road at all. I mean, you can, it, no, no more noticeable than the tires that were on it before. And then I'm running the Level 8 MK6 6x4.5 lug pattern. They are plus zero offset and, uh, and obviously in the bronze. I'm not a uh, center cap kind of guy. They, they come with center caps and they look pretty good, but I, I'd rather have them off. But yeah, um, as far as rubbing issues, I don't have a lift on this truck at all. This is factory height on it. So basically exactly what it looks like, factory height. And the only place that it rubs is, let's see if I can get in here. Yeah, it's just this right here. So I just need to trim this plastic up to about like this line. Other than that, nothing else rubs. It doesn't rub in the front, surprisingly. I thought that's where it was gonna rub, but it's just in the back. And it uh, doesn't stick out too bad. So if you check it out, there's no spacers on this truck. It's just the zero offset. As you can see, the mud flaps remain functional because the tread doesn't come past the mud flaps. Well, I'll be able to show it better on the rear. Here. See, it actually still sits right inside of the mud flap. At least the tread does. The tire kind of bulges out a little bit, which is the look that I like. So that works out. Um, looking at some suspension right now, I saw some King stuff and Fox, all that stuff looks really expensive, but um, we'll see. I'll have to save up and uh, go with a kit. Man, it's freaking hot out here. <laughs> but um, anyways, oh, I have my buddy Ty put on 20% um, expel nano ceramic window tint all around except for the front windshield, but it looks pretty good when you get inside Supposedly it blocks out like 80% of the UV 80 to 90 or something like that and it keeps it really nice and cool in here Even with the truck off It's uh, remaining cool in it for a little while even in a hundred degree plus weather but Yeah, let's take a little look around the truck. I'm in a bidding war right now on a VK56, got about three days and 17 hours left. I think a dude actually put in a maximum bid, so I'm just gonna wait till the last minute to put my bid in and see if I can win it. It's a really low mile, it's like 7,000 mile out of an Armada. And uh, I'm not too worried about the transmission. VQ40 six speed transmissions are pretty abundant, so. more concerned about just getting a really good engine so yeah that's the truck guys nothing really special you know no bead locks um, nothing insane like that just kind of my own little taste on it like I said it would kind of it'd be kind of cool when this truck's VK swapped and it's towing my little hard body and they look really similar I just I don't know I just think that'd be really sick so but anyways I'll catch you guys on the next one cheers